Hello and welcome to my channel. I thought that was kind of funny, that slow walk. I think it matches the music at Harv's really well, doesn't it? But I can't I can't do it very well. There we go. <laughs> anyway, my youngest did that once um, when he was at Harv's and <laughs> I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. He like made a video of it and showed me. I was like, that's the cutest thing ever. Okay, I'm on Harv's. I uh, came over here and I got my first Harriet hairdo. And I was wearing the bun so it like changed it back. But it was, what am I doing? It was actually my favorite Harriet hairdo. My favorite hairdo in the game. Yeah, woohoo! I can't believe it's the first one I got. I don't think I've ever gotten it as my first Harriet hairdo. So that was awesome. Um, I came over to Red. I bought, they're both fake. I also brought an alt over earlier and bought the other one because I'm going to buy all of them every day to try and get more. Um, okay, next up, I'm going to open Katrina. I know, I know, I know. She's not everybody's favorite, but you know what? I said this before and I will say it again. I love unbreakable tools. So I do it every day. I do. I do. Okay. Donate. I very often like don't press the donate button and get confused. Can I say something else about these guys? Okay. You know what? I did not initially like examine their faces. Okay. So I realize now this was like figured out very late in the game for me, but they have little mustaches. But I thought the mustaches were mouths. And I thought they were kind of like, ooh, I'm a thing. They're not, are they a gyroid? What are they? They're a Lloyd. I thought they were like, oh, kind of sad. But they're just mustaches. See, it's just a mustache. So that was me. <laughs> Probably everyone else already knew that. Well, I was in trouble finding the, the entrance exit there. I don't know why. All right, let's get back to my island. I've got some stuff to chat about today on my island. Let me go through this. Okay, oh my gosh. Are you going to do this whole thing where you tell me about offloading goods? You know, no, Wilbur, I do not care about this service. Does anyone ever really use this? I mean, I guess if you have an unlocked Tortimer, you might need it. But if Tortimer is unlocked, oops, then I press the wrong button. If Tortimer is unlocked, like, why would you ever need to send anything back? And why would you sell something here? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Does anyone else get that? If you understand it and there's some big thing I'm missing, let me know in the comments because I just, I don't get it. Okay, back on my island. I changed my outfit again because I'm just doing that right now, you know? I did that in, in 2020. I changed my outfit every single day. I would go into Abel's and I would buy all the cuteness. Hi, she know. She's just kind of creeping around, being a little scared. And speaking of scary, there's Buck. <laughs> okay. Oh, these are the gyroids I buried yesterday. I'll dig them up later. I just, like, can't be bothered. Look at everyone wandering in the big expanse of nothing. Aww. All right. Got some snow boys. I've made some imperfect ones, but I think I have eight left to get to the 20 for the Nook Mile achievement. I don't know if it takes 20 to get all the recipes. I've already forgotten. Um, I've gifted everybody today. Gullivar is here. I have not had time to do him yet. I also brought this wetsuit over here for my alts. If I have time tonight, I might run them through the Gullivar paces, you know, just to get some more swag. I do like the pirate swag. Um, okay, let's go up to the flower breeding. We're going to run past that right now. We'll get back to that in a second. All right, so when I started editing my video yesterday, which was very minimal editing, but when I went back through it, I noticed and I put a little text in the video yesterday that I had talked about putting down dirt patches to um, mark where the parent flowers were. I also called them so-called parent flowers, which 
Um, they're not so called parent flowers. They are parent flowers. So I don't know what that was all about. I was just babbling nonsense. But anyway, these are the parent flowers and I always put them on dirt patches because, oh, here we go. <clears throat> with the throat clearing okay I just put them on dirt patches because then I know which ones are the parent ones and which ones are the hybrids that have been bred from the parent ones so you know I know that if I like examined the grid I could figure it out but this just makes it like a no brain power um, excursion <laughs> I don't know what's up? I don't I'm sorry I don't know what's up with me today like my brain's not working I've actually honestly guys I've had a rough day it's been a bit of a day and I even considered like just not making a video today because I'm like very tired and it was a rough one it was a rough one but then I was like you know I have stuff to show and sometimes making a video kind of cheers me up so here I am but I, I will tell you that I may like just not make any sense but that's okay anyway so as you can see I finished the whole grid with all the little hybrid spots marked and all the little dirt patches for all the parent flowers I watered everything last night I still have to water tonight um, but just for a here, let me do this. Let me go like that, right? That looks good. Let's get rid of that. There we go. There, that's it. And then we'll do this. So there you go. You can see how um, you know the little dirt patches make the little pattern of the little flowers. It's kind of like you know, it looks like a spaceship. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, that's it. They're all. They're all all the parent ones are planted. Now I'm just waiting for hybrids to breed, and then they'll start getting planted into their appropriate hybrid spot, and then we'll get more hybrids, and so on and so on. So I'll keep you updated on how that goes. Oh my God, there's a weed. Let's get it. Uh, I just did that thing where I pressed the wrong, the wrong button because I thought I was playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. Yeah. Okay. This here, these are my roses that I am um, starting to work on for my blue rose. Okay, so my favorite blue rose method is from that same website that I shared on my last video, and I'll share it again on this video, and I'm going to pull up a, a graphic. It's this one. Um, the Asteriation, I think that's how you say it. The Asteriation Gene Pool Path to Blue Roses. This one is my favorite for one simple fact. It, well, I guess it's technically the fastest, statistically the fastest. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, in practice, you would get a blue rose faster than someone else who did a different method but in general this one's the fastest so i kind of like that but also it doesn't involve any testing some of the other methods you like get to a point where you have a particular yellow or a particular purple breeding but you have to get one with the exact right genetics and the only way to know that is to like test it against another flower and see what you get and like that just makes my brain hurt. I'm just not into that. I did do that on my very first 2020 island because um, that was the only method that I knew at the time. And it worked. It took a long time and it made my brain hurt. This one doesn't make my brain hurt. I just do it and then we're done. So anyway, <laughs> if you start on the left, the first step is to breed two seed whites together, two seed reds together. The two seed whites will give you a purple hybrid as one of the options, and the two seed reds will give you a black, a red, or a pink. So pink is great because that's one of the hybrids I just want for the island. And then if I get a black, then the uh, purple from the whites and the black from the reds, you breed those together and they give you your first special red. Then you breed that first special red, with a seed yellow and then you can see kind of right smack in the middle of the chart there's a whole bunch of things that could that could there's four different things that could breed from the seed yellow and the first special red and that's a, a yellow and a different yellow a hybrid yellow um, another a hybrid white 
an orange, which is great. I love orange. That's just a great hybrid to have. It's not part of this method. That's why it has an X next to it. If it has an X, that means you don't need it for this method. But like the pink that you can get from the two reds, I'm going to keep that as a pink flower. And the orange you could get from these two, I'll keep as an orange. But I won't use them in the method. <laughs> and then under that, you see there's another red. And this is the second special red. So then you take these second special reds, you collect them all, and when you breed two of them together, you can see again you have a huge um, bunch of options of what could breed. One of the options could be a blue. If you see right there in the middle, you might get a blue rose from these two special reds. You also can get another different red, another orange, and another black. Now if you get a red, an orange, or a black from these second special reds, then you, breed, you clone them and breed them with themselves, and then you have a pretty good chance of getting a blue. Uh, that's what I did on Sassy Moon, and I did actually end up getting a blue rose, I think in under 30 in-game days, um, and I had a little bit of... Uh, watering help from people because when you have people come and water it gives you extra bonuses and increases your hybrid chances so anyway that's basically it I'll I can talk about it more as I go along we're very early on so I can go over that again later I also went over it in my sassy videos I, that's the thing for me with um, let's play videos and it's weird it's just me like I have like weird issues with myself I don't have issues with anybody else <laughs> Like, I love watching other people's Let's Plays. I always learn something new. It's great. But when I do a Let's Play, I get irritated when I start repeating myself. And I'm like, why am I talking about Blue Rose methods? I already talked about this in Sassy Moon. <laughs> but anyway, here we are. So, okay. I planted 10 pairs. I think these ones might be the white. I can't even tell. It does, maybe these are the red. Um, I planned, I had 20 reds, so I planted 10 pairs of reds, of the seed reds, and 10 pairs of the seed whites. And uh, I have to water them for a couple days, and then they'll start breeding, and I'll be looking for those purples and blacks, and then we'll uh, move those somewhere else to breed together and just kind of go along the whole process. And I'm interested to see, I'm going to see how long it takes me to get a blue rose, and I will have help. Um, probably some watering help um, from my 365 friends probably not every day like I don't want to tire people out <laughs> but um, but yeah uh, that's a cool thing about having friends to do it with okay so anyway that's the flower stuff it's it's all set we're, we're all set with that um, I'm trying to think if I did anything else on the island yesterday I did what did I do oh yeah, I chopped down all of the extra fruit trees that were over here. I've just been doing a lot of cleanup. I'm trying to clear this front area so I can start building the entrance, the very elaborate entrance. And I'll probably have to move these houses. I don't know. I can't actually start on the front beach campsite. I mean, I can start on it. Um, I need the kids' tents. So uh, you don't really get those till Christmas. But I could also, I think I can get them from HHP, so I'll have to start working on H HHP on this island. I won't be doing like big builds in HHP on this island, I'll just do speed runs. Um, I, have a, I have an island, my HHP island, where I have a huge catalog of everything. So anyway, um, <laughs> it's funny, there's just like a little patch of, you know, tile for no reason. Oh, you know what, look at the museum! The museum is here, open. You know why? Because I went and got Brewster, but I forgot to tell Blathers last night. I forgot that you had to do that. I told him this morning. So tomorrow, the museum will be in a tent. Tomorrow's Wednesday? Yeah, so Thursday we'll have the cafe. Uh, if I had been like paying attention, I would have um, talked to uh, Blathers last night when I got back. And it would be in the tent today, and then we would have Brewster tomorrow. But I messed up. I forgot, you know. That's just how it goes. Okay, let's see. Anything else exciting? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else exciting. <laughs> I've done um, some of my dailies today. I wake up early a lot, and um, I'm not, like, the best sleeper. <laughs> and so I wake up early, and sometimes I, like, run all my alts through there 
dailies and do as many dailies as I can do. So, like I said, I've gifted everybody. Oh, I actually, maybe I'll go see if anyone's crafting. I don't know. I can't remember the last. Oh, I know one terrible thing that happened. I've been checking my turnip prices and the um, week started out with like a 60% chance of a large spike. And we're now down to, um, I think like a 46% chance of decreasing and only a 40% chance of large spike. So my, my chance for a large spike is dwindling. Like, already, there's a higher chance of decreasing at this point. So that's too bad. That's too bad when I sunk two million bells into my turnips. But, you know, thumbs are the brakes. That's what happens when you gamble. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> it is gambling. Um, let's see what I do. I moved uh, I moved my fossils down here. Were they already here yesterday? I don't even remember. But I'm just, those are fossils I'm going to use in a final fossil build. But, um, you know, I haven't got to that yet. Um, oh, I could I could show you this. <laughs> it's kind of boring. Here we go. Um, I did already water my crops. Um, look, I fixed the pictures. <laughs> Remember, I had those terrible pictures with the grid still on there yesterday, just dots. So <laughs> I mean, it was so unimportant. But like last night, I was like, I have to make them look like pumpkins. So I did. So there, they look like pumpkins. They look nicer. The white one had to be on pink, of course, because if it was on white, you wouldn't see it. Yeah, and the yellow is also kind of on, like, an off-white. I didn't do that on purpose. Whatever, that was the color palette I picked. Okay, well, let's take the pipe. I put this pipe up here just to get to my crops faster. I think it takes me down to the entrance. It does. All right. So, what else has happened today? Let's go water my foot. Hi, Rocket. I'm not going to push her into any more pitfall seeds. <laughs> I still can't believe I did that. that was so mean. All right, okay, let's let's water my flowers while I chat. While I chat, um, yeah. So here, let me get that first. So yeah, so you know, I am doing this island, and I am gonna try and do a video every day uh, for the rest of January. You know, that was like my, my plan. Um, but like I said today, I almost just didn't make it because I got super tired. So there may be a few days this month where I just can't make it. And, you know, that's normal. That's like self-care or whatever. Um, but I do have fun making the videos. So, you know, if I'm up for it, I will do it. Um, but, but yeah. And then when February comes, I probably will do like periodic updates. I think by February, like what's going on, on the island will not be as exciting, to be honest. Um, because early game really has the most exciting events, right? Trying to get to three stars, trying to get all your villagers. Ooh, speaking of villagers, I have to remember to show you the campsite. There's a campsite visitor today. I'll go show you in a second, but let's finish this first. Um, so yeah, so I think by February, it's really going to be just kind of, um, getting down to like the daily grind of the island, um, getting DIYs, uh, getting items for decorating, and, um, hang on, I'm like, I have to position myself just right to do the watering. Oh, and look at me, I'm like watering that white windflower for no reason. It doesn't even have anything to... Actually, I think that's a red one. <laughs> it doesn't even have anything. I have to remember that because that's like a waste of the watering can if I water something that isn't currently, um, you know, doing anything with anything. <laughs> I did that last night. And I was like, don't do that tomorrow. But then there I go. Am I going to get that? Ugh, I hate when I miss one because then it, it, like, you have to use the whole watering can again. All right, so yeah, like these ones I do not need to water right now because they don't have anything they're breeding with. Um, oh, but these ones I do. Um, okay, so I just totally lost my train of thought. But, oh, I know, I was talking about how, um, yeah, starting in February, I think like daily videos will get a little tedious for me. That does just me, not, you know. Anyway, um, so I probably won't make daily videos anymore, but... I don't know maybe like weekly updates of what's going on the island and maybe like showing like some of the builds I've done I'm probably not going to do speed builds I know I asked about that in an earlier video um, and I think honestly I'm just not good at speed build videos 
and um, so yeah I probably won't I'll probably just build and then share the product of the build <laughs> um, maybe show the before and after that kind of thing um, yeah so uh, that is cool let's go look at the campsite I did already check the campsite visitor you know I usually save that for like a video or a stream um, the reveal uh, for myself too and I totally forgot to even like think about that this morning oh cherry I'm ignoring that I'm not I'm not telling anyone not to leave wait where is my campsite oh it's over here oh wait I got some new miles um yeah there we go okay so all right so February I will do periodic updates of this island um, I am gonna probably start working on um, some HHP I love HHP it makes me happy so I am gonna do HHP even if it's not like the most popular thing ever um, I do I guess some people do really like HHP so um, and I love it and I like to do it and my HHP island I've cataloged every item in the game so that's honestly I think the thing that makes it really enjoyable is when you have a lot of options like it's not that much fun on you know when you don't have a lot of stuff like that definitely makes it much less fun um like on this island i probably wouldn't have fun <laughs> but on my hhp island where i did my festive series i have everything in every color and like that's awesome um so i will probably i actually have an hhp um idea for valentine's day so i'm hoping to put together like a very short kind of like my festive series a little a little shorter valentine's uh themed hhp series um we'll see that's kind of percolating in my head um and also i mean to be honest okay so here's the thing i love i love animal crossing it is my favorite game ever um i will always play tons and tons of animal crossing but I do also like some other games. I've been getting very into Disney Dreamlight Valley. Um, although I haven't played it for like the past three days. <laughs> because I've been working so hard on these videos. And I have to do a dream snap. I have to do a dream snap tonight. I know. I'm an Animal Crossing trader. <laughs> but honestly, I really do love Disney Dreamlight Valley. It's fun. I also really like Dinkum. And I want to do more Dinkum. Um, I haven't done a lot of Dinkum, but it's fun. It's super cute. And so I'm probably going to start um, playing, you know, making content and playing um, a little bit of other games, but there will always be tons of Animal Crossing on this channel because I love Animal Crossing. I always be doing periodic updates of islands, probably throwing in challenges once in a while, and you know, I think I will be doing a pretty big HHP project in general. Like, I still really want to build a house for every character in the game and I think I'll probably just work my way through people by doing little series like the festive series and this um, potential Valentine series and that kind of thing so over the year I will do a bunch of HHP builds and that kind of thing so I guess that's kind of what I'm saying I would love to hear what everybody thinks um, I don't know if it'll totally change my plans <laughs> unless everyone's like we hate Disney Dreamlight and Dinkum never but hopefully not I think they're really popular games they're super cute they have some similarities to Animal Crossing um, and creatively they they make me a little bit happy so I wanna keep pursuing that so anyway that's kind of what like we might be seeing in February but like I said I'm gonna keep trying to um, do daily updates as much as I can for the rest of January of this island because it's fun okay so this morning I got the news that there was a campsite villager and I was like oh no what if it's a dreamy because you know what if it was a dreamy I could not take them because I have to get photos for everyone on the island before I can let them go and I don't have any photos yet not a single villager on this island is giving me a photo because I guess we're only on day 16 sometimes it takes like a month so anyway I was very nervous going into the tent 
this morning. I was like, what if it's Ioni? <laughs> that was a really long pause. It was not Ioni, it was Bettina. Whew. I mean, you know, I'm sorry I'm not a fan of the mice, so like she's not in any way a favorite. She's maybe one of the slightly more cute mice, although she is very, very orange. I do not have her photo, so if I did have someone who could leave the island, um, I would have taken her. But I don't have anyone who can leave the island right now, so I can't take her. But luckily, I'm not sad about it because she's not a dreamy. <laughs> oh, I was going to share, hang on, I was going to share the dreamy list. I think I have it printed somewhere. <laughs> see if I can find it. I have to actually look it up or my brain will just like not, I will not be able to like think of it in my head. Oh no, it looks like I don't have it somewhere easy to grab. Do I? <laughs> here we go, here we go. All right, I think this is basically my dreamy list. Ruby the white bunny, she's a peppy. Diana, I love Diana. She's always been a dreamy for this island. She's a snooty. Phoebe, the sisterly, she's the phoenix, so I mean, I need her for the fire mage area, the fire element, and of course, uh, by the way, this list is like very mystical, magical, because this is a fairy core, magical island, so these are mostly magical, magical um, villagers. Ruby kind of gives me that like Alice in Wonderland vibe, so that's why I like her. Diane, of course, she's just magical, like that's, that's just what she is. Um, so Phoebe is a phoenix. Okay, I have Simon, which I know. People are like, what? I've mentioned this in other videos. To me, Simon is the monkey king from the Chinese folktale. Uh, the monkey king had a huge um, part in my childhood uh, because my dad read it to my brother and I, and he also taught it as a professor. And um, it was just like a huge part of my childhood. It's still one of my favorite stories ever in the world. And to me, the first time I saw Simon, I was like, that's the Monkey King. So I want Simon. And he's a lazy, and he actually would be perfect for the pirate beach area with the mermaids. So that's why I know Simon doesn't seem like a typical pick for this kind of island, but that's why. He is magical. Marshall! I mean, like, what's not to love? Um, Ioni, of course. Kiki is on the list. I got her, I, I had her on the list because she's black cat, right? Witchy, kind of. That's magical. You know, I had her on an I, I had her on Moonstone 2.0 right before I yeeted it. I got her like a month or so before, and I I didn't love her. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get her or not. She's kind of a maybe. I'm on the fence. Uh, Julian Unicorn. Enough said. Fang, he's one of my favorite crankies. He is a wolf. Um, on my very first island, he was known as Old Wizard Fang, and that's who he has always been to me. So he'll be the wizard of the island. And then Dom, because, I mean, he's really, to me, the only jock that would work on a fairy core island. So that's it. That's my dreamy list. I will, like, share that again sometime. I need to make, like, a graphic of it or something. Maybe when I start villager hunting, um, I will uh, share that so that we can remember who I would hope to find. But at the same time, I'm still also just looking for people whose photos I don't have. Okay, so that's it. That's today's video. Not a whole lot was done. Let's see, what did we do? We um, paid for Katrina's spot. I uh, showed you the... The flower breeding area that I fixed with the dirt spots that I forgot yesterday. I showed you the beginning of my blue rose method that I'm using. I will, again, I will link that in the uh, description. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I have to go take care of Gullivar. I'm gonna go down here so I don't forget that. He's easy to forget because he's very quiet over here. So we'll just like end the video over here. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, that's it. Not a lot of stuff. I think that's it too. Like, you know, we're already at three stars and I start to feel like there's not quite as many exciting things happening. But I'm going to keep up with it and, um, you know, hopefully it's still fun to watch. And then, as I said, February is going to bring new stuff. New stuff to the channel. Some new games, probably. 
and um, some more HHP and then periodic updates of this and then you know going on through the year um, I do want to at some point get back to DIY only island I think I said in my first video I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do that um, and then if there's any other small challenges I decide to do we'll see you know it's only January so and you know content creation is hard I, I find it challenging um, it is hard for me I don't have quite the best life set up to like I don't have a lot of time oh my god rocket seriously you're gonna photobomb my very like serious discussion with everyone cuz like okay there she goes Phew, she's just not the right vibe for right now um, oh but Olive is <laughs> she's a cute okay anyway I just lost my train of thought but um, I think I was talking about content creation yeah it's hard um, yeah I don't have a lot of time and um, so I don't know you know I have like like I get stressed about it I don't have the right personality to just like brush it off <laughs> so anyway I'm working on it I don't know this video is all over the place I'm sorry but um, anyway I'm gonna end it here and we'll see what happens tomorrow um, I don't think my flowers will be breeding hybrids yet. I think tomorrow will be um, when we have some more buds. So we probably won't start potentially getting any hybrids until Thursday. Yeah, Thursday or Friday. I can't even remember. But anyway, that'll be exciting. I can't wait till that starts to happen. <laughs> anyway, okay, I just took myself out of my photo. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye.